right guys welcome back thanks for stopping by i really appreciate it as always i'm going to say that every day because i do really appreciate it um so this is what i was working on for part of the day this is a core driller and basically it drills through the concrete so basically it drills through the concrete right here and it can also drill through the little metal right here so i can just stick it against here and then drill a hole through the floor to the floor below um this one is slightly ghetto just due to the fact that some of these are like they're probably really expensive but some of them suck to the ground this one um, as you can tell does not so you basically have to put your foot on it like this and then you have to um let me show you here you put your foot on it and then you just slowly um, pull this down to put pressure on it to drill but as you put pressure on it it lifts up so it makes it really hard to drill anything because by the time you put pressure on it it just lifts up off the ground and doesn't want to drill so um, it makes it super annoying but um, I drilled four holes through the ground um, there's a couple of them right up here you can see that right there so one of them I put a pipe through already the other one I'm about to put MC through. Unfortunately, one of those is the wrong size hole, but they're gonna get a bigger hole. Uh, they're gonna get a bigger drill bit, wider one, for the bigger pipe that we wanna do. So anyways, um, this I drilled four holes. Um, two, two right there, and then two over on the other side of that beam right there. Uh, as you can tell there's some water down there from drilling so there's two over there and two over here so i did four of them and i swear it took like four hours i don't even know but each hole took like 30 minutes to an hour it's ridiculous and then i snapped the drill bit on the other one as you can tell one of those is smaller than the other maybe so this is the one and a half inch drill bit and uh there's a one inch upstairs which i ripped all the teeth off because the the metal right here that you drill through once you're at the very end, um, it was, it didn't get cut all the way and it ended up ripping the teeth off because there's a little edge and it just ripped them off, ripped them off. So I'll go show you that um, in a second here. So as you can see, here are the other two holes right there. One smaller and then the one that's bigger. Um, so that's what I did on that side. And as you remember from yesterday, I told you I was gonna finish this first thing in the morning, and I did. So I just threw the coupling on there and then 90 it into the box. I'll go show you that around the corner. So here's what it looks like right there. 90 it into the top. I did a little strap. Can't really see it, but I screwed a shredder bar to the back of it and uh, did a one hole strap. So hopefully that works. I mean, it works, but hopefully no one cares too much. And then uh, screw the box down and then took a MC out down the wall um, someone else put this through the wall and that's just going for the there's gonna be a water fountain right here so just have a coil of wire so wherever that'll be needed that'll be sitting there ready to go and then one thing I have to work on tomorrow as you can see there's a framed box right here I have this wire going through here that I have to move so luckily it's just only to right here um, it just goes right there and down, I believe, right into the middle one. So that'll be a really easy fix. I just have to go up and over. So I don't know who's taking all my boxes apart like this. It's starting to piss me off. But uh, I'll have to stuff that in there tomorrow. And someone, okay, no one took my stuff. Okay, okay, okay. And then I'll go upstairs real quick before I head home. So I did a few things up here on the sixth floor. As you remember, there was a coil of wire that I sat down here forever. Actually, it's probably like maybe a week or four days, I don't know. Finally, ran that into the box over here. That needs a plug right there. And then uh, this, uh, ran this wire up here, just stepped it out for a uh, light right there. Uh, that's strapped right there. And then, uh, because this box was already in the wall, I had to like make it up like weirdly or whatever since a little bit more of a challenge but it's not a big deal but it just takes more time but they didn't really screw the sheetrock down I don't know why but so got that done and then I'll show you over here 
So here is um, the holes up here, basically just cut the metal out. Um, it wasn't wanting to drill through it at first, and then I forgot on the second one, so I could have tried to drill through the metal on the second one, but I just ended up cutting it out as well. So uh, the bigger pipe on the left, uh, one inch, and then just gonna run an MC through there. And then uh, that's just basically a sleeve to get out of the ceiling right there. Um, and then over here, same thing, uh, another uh, one inch pipe up through the ceiling right there. Uh, kind of, that pipe was in the way, so I had to lean it a little bit. And then I ran this wire right here, which is gonna go to a floor box. So it's gonna go under the floor and then back up through the middle over here somewhere. So this is the wire that I have to push down tomorrow. I just coiled it up so it's not everywhere. Push that down and then basically just coil that up downstairs, like down three feet through that hole or whatever. So that just goes, that just goes straight up along this wall. And then it goes into the home run box right here. And it's that one right there coming in the back side. I think that's everything I did up here. Uh, I can't remember. I feel like I am missing something, but I'm not sure. But anyways, drilling. Oh, I'm just gonna show you that. Uh, gonna show you that uh, thing I broke right here. So this is what the, the core drill bit looks like. Uh, you screw this on to the little screw hole on the drill right there. The threads. Um, and then this all has teeth, but I ripped them all off except that last one right there. So um, That was fun I Thought I was gonna smash my hand against the wall. It was super sketch Because basically you're just holding it with your foot and I'm drilling like right here with my hand So if that thing would have spun it would have pinned my hand against that stud right there, which is not a good day. So anyways That one's broken. Uh, I don't know if you can see it There's a little piece of metal in there somewhere but basically it ripped the teeth off because of that there's a little edge right there you can see it on the very bottom right there so that ripped off the teeth but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and head home I got some stuff to do after work hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you want to help support the channel or just uh, Glad that I keep uploading videos. Drop me a like and subscribe. See you back here tomorrow. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I live stream or upload new videos. Anyways, guys, thanks for the support. God bless. See you later. And one more thing I was going to mention. The fact that these lights are blinking. I was going to mention the fact that um, drilling holes wouldn't be so bad. Um, except um, you have to hold it with your foot and you have to bend over so basically you're just straining your back for however long you're drilling that hole like an hour or whatever per hole so otherwise um, it would have been super fun just to stand there and do nothing but um, yeah they basically make sense they don't want to make a 10 foot drill bit just so you can stand the machine up up higher or whatever but anyways tomato tomato but it was Another quick 10 hour day, so one more 10 hour day, eight hours on Friday. So, see you guys later.